What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And I got a very cool uh, special unboxing for you guys today. As for those of you who are out there on Legoland, if that gives you any hint. Um, I've not been a huge Lego fan. I played with it a lot when I was a kid. And then recently I've been collecting the Minecraft sets. I'm a huge fan of the Lego games. Um, which is why I was really excited when I found out Warner Brothers wanted to send me a review copy of Lego Dimensions to open for you guys. Now, I, I want to rip right into this box right away, but before I do, I want to take a look at it with you here for a second, just to show you all of the different licenses that are going to appear in this game. DC Comics, uh, Doctor Who, of course, Lego Land, Midway Arcade, uh, Back to the Future, Lord of the Rings, Portal, Ghostbusters. I, I got a feeling Batman's going to be my favorite Ghostbuster. <laughs> Oops. Obviously, it, it comes with a game, and it comes with this poster, and this appears to detail all of the different characters from all of the different worlds. It's the same on both sides, though. Well, apparently, this is our portal into the game. Doesn't look like much yet. And here's why. 267 pieces. We're going to be here a while. Yeah. Bag one. Bag two, bag three, thank God for instructions. Woo! So bag one appears to be the character bag. So let me get these guys put together for you. So once they're put together, they're exactly the same as a regular Lego character. Um, except they do have a base that they come on. And this base is what allows them to interact with the game. Because the, uh, the chip must be inside there. In fact, I think you can see it. Here is Gandalf the Grey. And then finally, there's Batman, and I'm pretty sure I don't have his cape right, uh, but he still looks pretty badass. Now, the booklet tells me to go put the game into my machine and then put everything together using the end game instructions. Uh, I'm just going to use the paper instructions instead. That's the sound of the next two or three hours of my life draining away. Now, if you've ever done Lego before, you're going to recognize this, but if you haven't, then let me just go ahead and say that this is what my workspace looks like ten minutes into it. So we're going to be here a while. Everything is awesome. I'm about halfway done and I'm doing pretty good. I haven't thrown it across the room like Francis would yet. This is what happens when you get old and you can't see, but you still want to put together Lego. Don't judge me. After about an hour's worth of work, there is our finished product. And we are ready to play. So, I mean, overall, I mean, it's pretty nice. If you're a Lego fan especially, then you're going to be a fan of this. Um, it was a pretty detailed piece. Most of the sets that I own from, like, the Minecraft series, there is a lot of bulky stuff, just to make, like, terrain and houses and stuff. This was almost all detail pieces, so it was a bit of a pain in the butt to put together. As for the figures themselves, I mean, they are exactly what you would expect. They're Lego figures on a computer chip inside of a base so that they can interact with the game. And it looks like from the back of the box, uh, anytime you buy one of the figures, you're always going to be buying Lego with it. So it seems to me just I, having these sets and these characters existing for a Lego collector is a, a fan come true. For game players or people who are used to other Toys to Life games or things along that lines, really it's all going to come down to how good this is. Because if you don't get a value from Lego and the figures aren't that special, then the game's going to have to be really good. Fortunately, Lego games do tend to be pretty damned good. So I'm going to take my review copy of the game. I'm going to go take my portal. I'm going to go hook it up to my PlayStation, and I'll be playing it. Uh, I Hopefully, once I have this new computer built over the weekend and I get my capture card in, hopefully I'll be able to capture a little bit of gameplay for you and put that on the channel right around launch. I might be able to do a full review for you as well, and I'll be tweeting my opinions about it on my Twitter channel. I'm going to list all that stuff down below, my gameplay channel, my Twitter channel, so that you can find out really what I think about this as we go. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak with you again soon.